This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Joyce Nussbaum, Highland Park, New Jersey. Fables for the Frivolous by Guy Whitmore Carroll. The Abbreviated Fox and His Skeptical Comrades A certain fox had a Grecian nose and a beautiful tail. His friends were wont to say, in a jesting way, a divinity shaped his ends. The fact is sad, but his fox ship had a fault we should all eschew. He was so deceived that he quite believed what he heard from his friends was true. One day he found in a sheltered spot a trap with stalwart springs that was cunningly planted to supply the demand for some of those tippet things. The fox drew nigh and resolved to try the way that the trap was set. When the trap was through with this interview, there was one less tippet to get. The fox returned to his doting friends and said with an awkward smile, my tale, I know, was come il foe, and served me for a while. When his comrades laughed at his shortage aft, he added with scornful bow, Pray check your mirth, for I hear from worth they're wearing them shorter now. But one of his friends, a bookish chap, replied with a thoughtful frown, You know, today the publishers say that the short tale won't go down. And upon my soul, I think on the whole that the publisher's words are true. I should hate, good sir, to part my fur in the middle as done by you. And another added these truthful words in the midst of the eager hush. We can part our hair most anywhere as long as we keep the brush. The moral is this. It is never amiss to treasure the things you've penned. Preserve your tales, for when all else fails... They'll be useful things in the end. End of the abbreviated fox and his skeptical comrades.